so we just had a great dinner and now we are heading to get some coffee. We're going to share some coffee as a little pick-me-up. We've had a busy day today and I think we're both a little bit tired, right? I just love coffee. I just need a little, <laughs> little coffee time. Do you know the name of the place that we're going? I don't know. Let me see really quick. Okay. Let me check my phone. It's called Sammy L. Coffee. Sammy L. Coffee. What do you think we're going to get? Cappuccino, a latte? I'm going to do an iced latte of some sort. Ooh, sounds good. Yeah. You can see the logo of this place. Sammy L. Coffee is a little monkey. Here's some more of the New York City architecture. That building is pretty cool. It's a clock tower. As you hear the lovely ambiance of all the cars honking their horns and everything. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna get this water and then we're also gonna do one iced Vienna coffee, please. And one iced coconut latte, please. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We got some sparkling water and we're sitting outside today. It's such a nice day in New York City. It's a bit cloudy, but it's kind of cooler than the days before. It's been 90 like this whole week. Hello. <laughs> Our coffee has arrived. You want to show uh, yours? Have you ever seen coffee like this? It looks so pretty. I haven't, but it looks amazing. Wait, mine looks cooler. Look at this. And it has foam at the top. And the, the separation between the milk and the coffee looks incredible. This is like dessert. I know. Coffee. We got our dessert after <laughs> Ruby's. I'm mixing it up. Mix, mix, mix. Oh, that's the wrong way. Let's give it a taste. Oh, mm. oh I need to mix mine. I just got milk. Really? What, what did it taste like? <laughs> it tasted like milk. Just milk? Yeah, I need to mix it. <laughs> the bottom's really white. Okay, what did yours taste like though? Um. Maybe a hint of coconut, which I, I got a coconut latte. It's definitely good. I'm enjoying it. It's Refreshing. not very strong though. No, it's pretty strong and it's um, got a little bit of coconut flavor. Okay, let's try mine. Mm. It is really strong. Let me try yours. I'll try yours. <laughs> Yours is more creamy. Yours is not my favorite. I like mine though. Yours is Mine's creamier. sweeter. Yours is like a little bit more bitter. It's less sweet than I would have imagined. Yeah. But I'm still enjoying it. Ooh. Ooh. Look that's at that. Pretty. Get that shot. Yum. Let's try some of that. Mm. Let me try it like that. Whipped cream. More. Oh gosh, more? Here we go. Yeah, that was the best part. So Gwen, have you ever been out on the water here in New York City? I have a bunch of times. There's this really cool spot that I would recommend to anybody visiting New York City. It is like a bar slash restaurant on the water and it's a boat that's docked and uh, it's not moving or anything, but it's technically you're on the water and they serve really good lobster salad, lobster rolls, oysters. I think technically it's an oyster bar. It's called Grand Banks. Super fun. And plus the cocktails 
they're just so refreshing and it's nice because New York City is so hot right now. It's like the perfect place to go and sit outside, feel like you're kind of somewhere else than the typical places in Manhattan where you're in the congested city. It's really cool. Oh, and then also I've gone to Rockaways a few times, which you've gone to. Do you want to tell us a bit about that? Oh yeah, the Rockaways. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when I want to get out of the city, but you know, don't want to travel too far, you can catch a ferry by Seaport, which is on the lower, it's like lower Manhattan in financial districts on Wall, um, Street. on Wall Street. And you're able to catch a ferry for the same price as a subway ticket. It's only like three bucks and go all the way to the Rockaways. Um, the Rockaways are also known for the beach. I mean, it's known for the beach, for the ocean, for surfing. And, you know, me being from Hawaii, I love to surf. So I've gone to the Rockaways and swam in the water before, but I haven't yet quite gone there to surf. So I hope that I get the opportunity soon to go over there again, bring a surfboard or maybe rent a surfboard, and then hit the waves when there's some good big waves. Yeah, I love the Rockaways. Um, I went on my birthday in 2022 with Gwen, and uh, we had an amazing time got a little bit of sun, got a little more tan, put on some sunscreen, of course, but we, yeah, soaked up some vitamin D and had a great time. It's so funny because I never get in the water at the Rockaways, and a lot of people don't. You know, it's kind of like there's sharks there. The water is incredibly murky, so it's a little bit spooky swimming around there. Not at all like Hawaii, where Mike was from, mm -hmm. but it is fun. And then the beach is really nice. Just being at the beach is, is always a good time, right? Yeah. So what do you think is a popular fashion trend right now? There's so many trends right now, but specifically to summertime, the most popular trends are um, like crochet dresses. Those always come back in for the summer. Also see-through dresses. And then also rope dresses, like dresses that are like ropes, but stitched together are kind of like in very nautical themed. I don't know. A wild trend though, that I think is still kind of going on is these things called tabbies. And they're shoes that outline your toes kind of, like it's weird, but lots of people love them here and they are super expensive shoes. Have you seen those or heard of them? I think I know what you're talking about. And mm -hmm. yeah, they're definitely a statement, like a fashion statement, but I like them. I don't mind them. I don't have a pair of them. I should look them up on your phone to yeah. show them. I think a popular trend is also, and I like this trend, is boots. People are wearing more boots, like Doc Martens. Okay, I found tabbies to show you. They're super in right now. I don't love them. I feel like most people do, though. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that. But it's like your toe is separated. I'll show you another one. I wonder if it's comfortable or like better for your feet or not. I don't know. I think they are. <laughs> that, those ones are from Shein. Those ones are really cheap. But like majority of them are from like Maison Margiela. And look at that. That is like $1,500 for some funky looking shoes that are really trending right now. We found this interesting looking store called Cure Thrift. It looks so cute in there. Typewriter. Typewriter. <laughs> There's a cat. There's a, a horse. Bear. That's cute. Little bear on a chair. Ooh, the piano.
Do you see the pigeons? <laughs> This is my favorite pizza place in New York City. Joe's Pizza, some of the best pizza in NYC. <laughs> Greasy, cheap, <laughs> all the good things. No, it's amazing. It's good quality and a lot of celebrities go there. Oh, and then here's Trader Joe's. This is where we grocery shop. Here's Trader Joe's. This is one of the best places to grocery shop in New York City. It's amazing quality, great, great stuff and for the best price. Just walking around New York. We're on our way to Union Square Park. Yes. What is there to do at Union Square Park? Well, there's often farmer's markets and, you know, lounging around, mm -hmm. enjoying the scenery. Lots mm -hmm. of people playing music in the street, guitar singing, trumpet, a whole bunch of different things. Good food around there too. There's definitely good food. Is there Angelina's? By no, Union that's Square. by Bryant Park. Oh. Well, Angelina's is a really good spot for lunch food or breakfast. A French style place. There's actually a location in Paris, France. And all right, we're going to cross the street right now. And they have afternoon tea there, which is so fun. We love afternoon tea where they have all the little pastries and desserts. Yeah, there's a location in France that we went to when we were there. They have hot chocolate. I don't know if you already said that. Oh, yeah, the hot chocolate's really good. It's kind of different than normal hot chocolate, where it's really thick. It's like drinking melted chocolate, so it's really rich tasting. <laughs> very rich, but very good. it's even better than what I described, because it is really good. Yeah. Big one. Look at these jackets. Kind of cool. So now we are at Union Square Park. And there's all of these pop ups. We uh, had some coffee at a cafe, got to walk around New York City a bit, and uh, we also got to see Union Square Park, which was really fun. My phone died towards the end of it, but it was pretty perfect timing. And uh, we really appreciate you guys for watching. This is Eikaiwa. <laughs> 実践的な英会話を短期間で効率よく身につけたい方は、いろんなアメリカ人の生の英会話を学ぶのが一番です。英会話教材 This is 英会話では、アメリカ人約150人の生の英会話を紹介しています。概要欄に紹介していますので、ぜひ見てください。それでは次回をお楽しみに。